Consider the set S that contains x squared plus one, two x minus two, and negative x squared plus x. The set S spans P2. If T of x equals two x squared minus three x minus five is in P2, then T of x can be written as a linear combination of the elements of S. That is, if we let A, B, and C be real numbers, T of x must equal A times the quantity x squared plus one, plus B times the quantity two x minus two, plus C times the quantity negative x squared plus x. For the next step, we'll substitute two x squared minus three x minus five for T of x, and then solve for A, B, and C. Let's set this up on the next slide. We have a linear combination of the three given polynomials in P2 equals T of x, which is two x squared minus three x minus five. And now let's clear the parentheses on the left by distributing A, B, and C. Distributing A, we have AX squared plus A. Distributing B, we have plus two BX minus two B. Distributing C, we have minus CX squared plus CX. For the next step, let's group the terms that have a factor of X squared in them, which would be AX squared minus CX squared plus, and now let's group the terms that have one factor of X in them, which would be two BX plus CX plus let's group the terms that don't have any factors of X, which would be A minus two B. This is still equal to two X squared minus three X minus five. And now let's factor out X squared from the first group, and let's factor out X to the right side, which gives us the quantity A minus C times X squared, plus let's factor out X from the second group, and factor out X on the right, which gives us the quantity two B plus C times X, and we'll leave the last grouping in its current form. Now we'll equate the coefficients if we have the quantity a minus c times x squared on the left, and we have two x squared on the right, we know that a minus c must equal two. And if we have the quantity two b plus c times x on the left, and we have minus three x on the right, we know two b plus c must equal negative three. And then finally, if we have a minus two b on the left and minus five on the right, a minus two b must equal the constant negative five. Let's go ahead and write out these equations. Again, we know A minus C must equal the coefficient of X squared, which is two. We know two B plus C must equal the coefficient of X, which is negative three. And we also know A minus two B must equal the constant, negative five. And now if we solve this system, we can determine the values of A, B, and C, then make two X squared minus three X minus five a linear combination of x squared plus one, two x minus two, and negative x squared plus x. So let's go ahead and write the augmented matrix. Because we have three equations and three unknowns, we will have a three by four augmented matrix. Where the first column will be the coefficients of A, the second column will be the coefficients of B, the third column will be the coefficients of C, and the fourth column will be the constants. So from the first equation, the first row is one, zero, negative one, two. From the second equation, the second row is zero, two, one, negative three. And from the third equation, the third row is one, negative two, zero, negative five. The next step is to write the augmented matrix in a reduced row echelon form in order to solve for A, B, and C. And I've already done this to save some time. In reduced row echelon form, the first row is one, zero, zero, negative three. The second row is zero, one, zero, one. And the third row is zero, zero, one, negative five. The first row indicates that A is equal to negative three. The second row indicates that B is equal to one. And the third row indicates that C is equal to negative five. So this is what the question is asking for but let's go ahead and write T of X or two X squared minus three X minus five as a linear combination of X squared plus one, two X minus two, and negative X squared plus X. 
If a is negative three, we know negative three times the quantity x squared plus one, plus since b is one, we have one times the quantity two x minus two, and then plus c, since c is negative five, we have minus five times the quantity negative x squared plus x, and this must equal two x squared minus three x minus five. Let's go ahead and verify this by simplifying the left side. Distributing, we have negative three x squared minus three plus two x minus two plus five x squared minus five x equals two x squared minus three x minus five. Simplifying on the left, we combine like terms. We have two x squared terms and we have two x terms as well as two constants. Simplifying, we have two x squared minus three x minus five, which does equal t of x, which is again, two x squared minus three x minus five. So this does verify that we found the values of a, b, and c correctly, where t of x or two x squared minus three x minus five is a linear combination of x squared plus one, two x minus two, and negative x squared plus x. I hope you found this helpful.